What's up YouTube, JL Folks here, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite acoustic guitars of all time, the Gibson J45. Now the Gibson J45 has been around for decades, it's got a really amazing history. Go check it out on GuitarWorld.com, I'll link an awesome article in the description of this video. But the J45 is known as the workhorse, meaning it can be played at many gigs in the studio, it has a long lifespan, and it sounds and plays amazing. I've had several acoustic guitars over the years, and some pretty good ones too, and I ended up getting rid of them because none of them could hang with the J45. Every time I went to the studio or something, the J45 just sounded 10 times better than any of the other acoustic guitars that I've owned. And I just love the guitar. It sounds great in the studio. It plays amazing. It sounds amazing. It feels amazing. And I think it looks amazing too. It's a pretty standard design and that's kind of the classic finish, the sunburst. And the guitar really is a workhorse. I've probably played over 500 gigs with this guitar and it's one that I can always rely on. It comes with a great pickup and sounds great going just direct into a sound system. And it's just a great guitar all around. It's one of my favorites. The Gibson J45 standard comes with a Sitka spruce top and mahogany back and sides. The logo is a pearl inlay and also comes with Grover tuners. There's also a pickup that comes with this guitar, so you can use an acoustic electric, which is an LR Bags. The fretboard is a rosewood fretboard, and it comes with a Gibson hard shell case. The sound of this guitar can be altered in many ways depending on what kind of strings you're using and also what kind of pick you're using. I typically use GHS Americana series for acoustic guitar on my Gibson J45, and these are lights, the S425s. When it comes to guitar picks, it all depends what kind of music you're going for. If I'm singing some songs around town and doing some strumming, I typically like to use a pretty light pick, which is a USA Nylon 73mm Jim Dunlop. And then I also like to use a heavier pick if I'm playing individual notes on the guitar. So now I'm going to show you what the Gibson J45 sounds like. I'm going to be recording with this mic right here, the Rode NT1A condenser mic. And I'm going to be plugged in directly into my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface and just going to mix the two different sounds together. And I'm also going to be using two different guitar picks, a light guitar pick and a more heavier guitar pick. So y'all stay tuned. Alright YouTube, so that is my Gibson J45. It is one of my favorite guitars in my collection and my only acoustic guitar in my collection. It is my go-to for gigs and in the studio. I definitely recommend it to anybody out there looking for a great acoustic guitar. These are pretty inexpensive too. They're around $2,200, which is not bad for a really good acoustic guitar. And if you're a gigging musician, this is definitely the guitar for you. I love mine and it's one of my favorite guitars to write songs with and just play acoustic around the campfire and play gigs with. I can always rely on it. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.